like these posters. Oh, let me just say Big Boss is watching you. I kind of like the blood, though. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take a shower. I don't know. They, they're accusing Quiet of being a traitor, but... She might have brought the virus in. I don't know. Well, no, it had to be something from Africa. Right? I never checked up on that walker gear completely. There's a lot of these things around. Let's go visit Quiet. No, no. While, while we're doing that. I guess we can listen to Skull Faces. Hold on. Yeah, I guess we can listen to Skullface's objective. Skullface has finally burned out. The world is rid of his existence at last. Was he still alive? You could say that. But you could also say he'd been dead for decades. What's that supposed to mean? Biologically speaking, it's hard to say how much was his life. Side effects from the treatment? No. The primary effect. Keeping a dying host alive as long as possible. That is the whole point. But in the end, he grew too dependent on his children. Hmm. As if he had any other way to keep on living. He first underwent parasite therapy before the Soviet Union became his home. His body was horribly burned. Fire washed across his thin young frame and stole his skin and his throat, even his lungs. Only through repeated therapies could the parasites keep him alive. Most of his life became something the parasites gave to him. And then he lost the ability to die. That is correct. The parasites live on past the host's death. Still aiding cell composition. At that stage, there's no way to extract them from the host cells. There is no way of knowing when the last cell of Skullface's body would die. The only choice was to burn the whole thing. And his children, along with it. <laughs> and I am one to talk. When my life is snuffed out, I expect you to treat my body the same way. And when I burn, I will truly be one with my children for the first time. You say there were three English vocal parasites. According to Skullface, yeah. Skullface had two of the English strain with him. You burned both of them. There was an oil fire. I tossed him in. So that just leaves one. And you tell me Skullface said he used it. He said it was very close to me. Very close. One of your comrades. Or someone ordered to kill you. Or he could have been speaking metaphorically. Hmm. Metaphorically. Close to your spirit. Close to your heart. Someone who either loves you or despises you. The second one makes a long list. Whichever it is, act with caution. Skullface implanted someone with the English language strain. Who it is is irrelevant. The only person Why? I can think of is Miller. I tell you what Skullface really meant. Very close to you means you will be exposed. Hmm. All the infected here have been given the Wolbachia. Even if the vocal cord parasites infect them now, they cannot reproduce. But if there's a different host among us, host to the English strain, if that were the case, we'd see the symptoms. What about the non-English speakers? 
We have plenty of those, but the staff use English as a common language. But if that someone has not spoken English yet, and begins to speak it now, there'd be another outbreak. The final mating pair of the English strain must be found immediately. It's probably quiet. Skullface is gone, but his threat still remains on this base. Do you see what the final mating pair is? With him dead, those parasites are the stain he wished to leave upon the world. His thirst for vengeance in the flesh. Think. Does anyone here bear a grudge against you? Who would target you specifically? The I'm ethnic the cleansers that Code Talker mentioned, they weren't Skullface's true goal. All we have is circumstantial evidence, but here's my theory. It was Cypher who started developing the vocal cord parasites as bioweapons, parasitic weapons, and Africa was the testing ground for them. As Code Talker said, their purpose is the ethnic cleansing of only those who speak a particular language. So they could do a weapon of mass destruction to eradicate specific groups, races, ethnicities, or colonies by the language they speak. Or a kind of absolute language control. Or maybe a tool for those arrogant fools to build some misguided utopia. I can see plenty of uses for them. However, in practical terms, they wouldn't be as dangerous as you think. Counteracting the parasites is easy, after all. Cut them out of your throat to save your life, or just don't talk. That also Miss. prevents the infection from spreading. So if the international community were to find out about them, they'd no longer be the threat they were conceived to be. In which case, their targets would be limited to minority groups as a deterrent or a terrorist tool. It's hard to imagine Cypher developing something like that as a main weapon for their arsenal. That leads me to think We've only tugged on one little thread in Cypher's grand tapestry. An obscure corner of their work, possibly forgotten altogether. In any case, things changed. When Skullface was forced to relocate to Africa and he saw that thread dangling. All the time he continued that research, he was secretly following his own agenda. The ethnic liberator parasites. His English language strain. Skullface said there were only three samples of the English language strain parasite, and I think we can believe him. Good to see you, boss. Bringing his ethnic liberator's plan to fruition depended on creating an English version of the vocal cord parasites at all costs. But an English strain would have been useless to Cypher. Worse, it could have destroyed everything they'd built. It was the one type they couldn't allow. That means Skullface was forced to develop his English strain out of sight of Cypher's network. Naturally, he couldn't use the greenhouse facility Cypher had set up and filled with guinea pigs. Skullface must have found some secret place to create his precious few English parasites, hiding all evidence like a man cheating on his wife. Somewhere, an entirely standalone environment. And when his plan entered its final phase, he must have made the place disappear. Some little room could be anywhere, but now nowhere at all. We'll never know where he did it, but to elude Cypher's surveillance, it couldn't have been big. I believe Skullface was telling the truth. There were only ever three samples of the English language string. Why activate Sahelanthropus in Afghanistan? This is how Skullface wanted things to play out. The Soviet Union secretly develops a new type of nuclear weapon and successfully deploys it in Afghanistan. Revealing the existence of Sahelanthropus results in a return to the glory days of the Cold War. The threat it poses reignites the nuclear arms race between the world's major powers. The demand for nuclear weapons increases around the globe. What if he then introduced a nuclear weapon anyone could get their hands on? Non-nuclear nations, militant groups of all shapes and sizes, they'd all jump at the chance. Soholanthropus was a marketing tool to sell nukes all around the world. But I think it's safe to say that plan was stamped out before it got up and running. The world's intelligence agencies never did turn up anything conclusive on it. After all, Soholanthropus vanished before word could spread. 
Everything that's happened is already a fading memory, never to join the pages of history. Except for Cypher. Cypher won't forget. They'll already be working on something, quietly beneath the surface. They'll use the pieces of data scraped together from this incident to build their own bipedal weapon. It'll take them a long time to complete it, but for now, the Greed Sector have found their new life's work. We'll have to be ready, too. We're having Code Talker continue his parasite research. Alright, let's go see Poss. He's clearly very grateful to you. I'm sure he'll return the favor somehow. That's always sticking around here. She's gonna say the same thing she said last time I was here. I'll just be checking just in case she does say something different. Thank you. You are always so kind to me, Snake. Yep, same thing. I need to go. They didn't have any more missions for attracting old mother base soldiers. Maybe now they do. Back, right? But they. I haven't seen one in a while. Check on Quiet. Looks like Sir Quiet is showing up. from the ACC before a mission or from your iDroid. Think carefully about the mission's objectives before deciding so you to take them right? along. If you develop specialized equipment for them, they'll be able to help you out in even more situations. Yep. All mission relevant data is aggregated right, in the out. ACC. That's where you are. You can now give the order to develop or dispose of nuclear weapons from your iDroid. With a nuclear deterrent, even if you are discovered while infiltrating a rival PF's FOB, most PF's won't dare retaliate. But you, of all people, know how dangerous it can be to have nuclear weapons. So will you add nukes to our arsenal as a deterrent? Or will you take them away from other PF's and dispose of them to help build a world that's free of nuclear weapons? A little bit of both. decision up to you. What's up, Quiet? How's it going? I'm gonna see if I have any new pictures. Um, I think I only seen one. I think I was on the other side. You think they give you like a picture of? It's a philanthropist or something. I wonder if Quiet was even. Oh, there goes one. I wonder if Quiet was even doing damage to the philanthropist because he he was taking a lot of rocket shots too. But I didn't have uh, the best sniper available for. Her. Uh, I still haven't made that yet. Even though I could, it's just that's a lot of money that I don't want to spend. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. Boss, come on back to base. I don't know what the hell is going on. I unplugged my mic for a second because I thought nothing was going to happen. I just extracted the old mother base soldier, remember? And I guess we're going to go see Paz now. Throw me back to mother base. I didn't ask to come back. How's he doing now? I was waiting for five minutes.
We're gonna have to tell him. Boss, there's been an accident in the boys' quarters. A pile of steel pipes gave way and crushed one of the kids. The boy named Ralph. They tell me he died instantly. I'm sorry, boss. It's my fault. I should have been keeping an eye on them. I'll let you know if we learn something. That's what you brought me back for? You kind of just... never mind. I don't know, man. Eli. Do you not see all these posters big boss is watching you? But it's out there, shit. Well, I guess that was it. For now. So I'm not gonna go see Poss yet. I wanna at least collect one more photo. Stay back. It's too dangerous. <clears throat> Hey. Back up, kid. I said no. You have to stay back. You didn't expect me for any of this to happen. Some things can't be helped. Is back to your quarters. for five minutes. What's going on? Shabani. Mayaka nine kingo ya. Seriously? Shabani. It's down there. Hey. The tank at the bottom is filled with chlorine disinfectant. One whiff and you'll suffocate. Don't even. Give me a goddamn gas mask. I'm going down there. Could you let it fall down there anyway? Uh, Eli. No way to recover the body. What kind of stunt was that? Trying to panic us? Just did that. I can't believe she just did that.
What the hell is going on in his mind? I just came back here to do a side mission. Luckily I hit record. Good they put her in their infirmary. I think I know where she's at. Maybe in there? I don't know. I was gonna actually wait until uh later on, like when I got another picture to like go see Poss, but since the thing which quiet just happened not too long ago. I'm already in the basement, so I'll do it while I'm here. Oh, snake. And I don't know where the hell quiet's at now. She's not in her, or in her cell anymore. So I guess he put her in one of these rooms that I can't enter. Is it snake? Amanda and I thought Cecile had to make it. She picked it up so fast. I was really surprised. I guess Parisians have cooking in the blood. Are Cecile and Amanda doing okay? I wonder why they haven't visited. Uh, my head... It hurts. I actually do want to know what happened to Cecile. I know kind of what happened to Amanda. But Cecile, I have no idea. Or at least I don't remember what happened to her. Well, that's the thing. I wish I knew where the fuck Quiet was. I would like to go see her. Alright. I've equipped the car, even though I'm gonna run the way. I don't, I don't think it's a good idea for me. Because I was looking at the way the... Where I'm landing and... I'm in between two places where I can get caught, so driving is a bad idea. The friendly Mujahideen during the vocal cord parasites incident. The man headed back to OKB Zero after the Soviets recaptured it. Check the target's VI on your iDroid. CIA agent and XLF agent? Okay. I need to go back and uh, get a tape. I forgot. I, I couldn't. I didn't know that I missed the tape um, on the Skullface mission. So I'm gonna go back to that place and see if I can get it. Be careful down there, boss. Um, I forgot. I was, just, I was just about to do something, but I forgot. I, I oh, I was gonna play that tape. Well, a song. Since. I don't think I played it. I'll be hauling ass. I didn't want to bring the vehicle because these two bases are here. Like, who knows what I'm gonna run into? See? Makes me believe 
They're not worth it. But I do need to go over there, so I'm about to go to sleep. I don't really give a shit about them. Do I see light out there? I really need to be a bird. I should have brought a uh, D Dog. Every time I say that, I should have brought D Dog and I never do. I guess that's the target. Stop moving so much. I don't trust this. This seems too easy. I know I seen something over there. I don't know what the hell that was. Or that there's a light or another gear walker. Oh, he would have a fucking shield on. Let me get this asshole before he walks off like the other guy did. Thanks. You see. He's coming what I do? Roger that. I actually want to kill him. Okay, I'll take that too. Target extracted. Exfiltrate the hot zone boss. I didn't get any of the other bonus soldiers, which I think were in the two uh like main bases, but that would have taken too much time. I'll come back and get them because I do need them. I don't have any. I don't have those skills yet. Him. Let me see where the hot zone is. Yeah, I'm gonna run this way. Probably didn't do anything during this mission. I don't know where the hell she's at. I think she's back where we started. I didn't even look on the map to see where she was. I'm out of the hot zone yet. Close. All right, you're out of the hot zone. No enemy forces in pursuit. Mission complete. Extraction arrived at base. I can sell probably those gear walkers. I don't really need them. Amazing. Mission complete. That right there is why you're the best, boss. The one and only. Good stuff. Extract the four search team soldiers. Guess that was all of them. Still got a fox hound. Fucking A. Now I gotta deal with the hard missions. Not gonna have a fox hound after that. If 
I do, I'd be surprised. I think the next mission I had to do with no weapons, uh, weapons or OSP or something like that, so I gotta find weapons on site. Like the old Metal Gear games. Give me a goddamn soul comp pistol. Boss, the target filled us in on what's been going on. He betrayed the Soviets, passing information to Langley, but got scared after learning XOF used the vocal cord parasites. Then came feelings of guilt that his leaks sent comrades to their deaths, and fear that America might deploy such a weapon itself. But in reality, XOF and Langley don't have a collaborative relationship, and Skullface was not working for America. Still, I can't blame the man for being afraid. After laying low with the Mujahideen, he tried to cut his ties with the U.S. and return to the Soviet military. But along the way, someone came after him, and he was forced back into hiding. Could have been remnants of XOF looking to silence him. And you know the rest. He doesn't seem to know much about the parasites, but nevertheless, it'd be too dangerous to hand him over to Langley or the Soviets. We'll keep him here as originally planned. Hmm. I just got li done listening to all these tapes. Y'all gonna give me like 50 more. Okay, that's an exaggeration of a number, but you know what I mean. Battle Gear has been completed. About the end time. Yeah, none of those had the skills that you can unlock from playing that mission, so I gotta go back and do it. I'm pretty sure that soldiers are either in small base or like that main base that I think a hero's way is in. Emmerich's finished development on that battle gear of his. Get back to mother base. My freaking head itches. And the goddamn headset is on my head. Ah, oh, shit, my ears hurt too. I don't, I don't know, I'm like having a really bad day. About damn time. Took like 10 missions for you to get done this thing. I don't, I don't trust Yui. I don't trust him at all. And it has a rail gun. I'm assuming that's what that is. This thing could float. Here we had to do left. Let's get the fuck out of here. Before I punch this crazy ass son of a bitch in the face. I don't like Huey very much anymore. I used to like him a peace walker. I don't know. I felt bad for him at first. But after that skull face thing. I don't I don't really care for him very much anymore. I kinda wanna kill him. Boss, we need evidence to prove our suspicions about Emmerich. Head to the central base camp in Afghanistan and recover that AI pod. It's time we purge Diamond Dogs of that traitorous parasite once and for all. Huh. Last time I went to that, uh, I redid the mission where you get Huey. And I noticed that little Easter egg on that damn mammal pod. 
Maybe we'll see it again this time I'll show you. Alright, uh, we'll head into the next main mission, which is Assistant C2W. No weapons, no buddies, no chicken hat, no reflex, even when I use reflex or chicken hat. No supply drops. I'm basically left with nothing. Old Metal Gear style mission. I don't know how this is gonna go. This can go horribly wrong. I could just land in the goddamn place. That'd be a terrible fucking idea with no weapons. Uh, this could go horribly bad for me. Because I'm not used to playing this game without any weapons. Usually I'm with the tranquilizer at all times. But we'll find out. I, I don't even know how I'm gonna blow this up without any weapons. So I have to blow up either three things or I have to blow up the... If I remember C2W, you have to blow up the three uh, satellite drones. Or the main comms equipment. Damn, they don't even let me pick my suit. Boss, you need to disable the Soviets' reinforcement system by putting a hole in their base-to-base -base comms network. Head for the Eastern Communications Post and destroy its comms equipment. First, use the binoculars to locate the communications equipment at the facility. This will suck. All I got is my bionic arm. Essex. I don't have any of my upgrades. I don't think I run as fast either. I'm not 100% sure. I could be wrong. Nah, because it's level 1. Head for the Eastern Communications Post and destroy the target equipment. Its location is on your iDroid. Luckily, I played this mission a nice amount of time to know how to play it well. Well, until I get to the base. When I get to the main base, I knew the problem. But I kind of want to take these guys out so I can get some weapons, just in case. Hopefully there's only two of them, so I don't know how many of them are there. Oh, thank God I said the sonar detector thingy. Okay, so it is only two of them, I guess. I don't think this one turns around. I've never seen him turn around. Or maybe he does. I don't know if anybody in the building, so I'm just gonna cross. I'm gonna cross slowly right here. It didn't say when I use the detector thing, but I don't trust this. So I tell you, man, I play super cautiously if I don't know what the hell's going on. All right, he doesn't move that much. He doesn't look backwards, I guess. Where are the others? 
I can't fool to them, can I? Because I didn't even try. Oh, yeah, I can. Damn it. Oh, yeah, he definitely got full time. Okay, now, since I'm already slow on time, I already missed the two soldiers. Did I check everything in here? I'm pretty sure I checked everything in there. I'll check it again, though. But I, I, since I'm slow on time, I already missed so, two soldiers. Can, can y'all give me a tranquilizer? Damn. Hook a brother up. Oh, I didn't grab everything here. Yeah, there should be two soldiers coming up. Well, there should have been, but since I'm going so slow, I won't run into them. Uh, they'll probably be at, be at the main base already. I'm telling you, I played this mission a lot. Well, the regular one. How the fuck am I supposed to blow this up? I have no goddamn grenades of C4. I guess I didn't. Well, no, they are kind of closer to the base, though. I can't tell where the hell the other one's at, though. There should be two of them. figure out if I should mess with them. They don't really have anything that I need. By the time I get up to them, it's gonna they're they're gone. They're they're fucking gone. Yeah, because by the time I get close to them the guy at the bottom right will see me, probably. Oh, great. They have Claymore mines. What a bunch of assholes. to locate the communications equipment at the facility. Man, fuck this mission. First, you have to identify the targets. Recon the site with your binoculars. Once you know where the targets are, take them out to put their network out of action. How you do that is up to you. I'm worried about running into a goddamn claymore mine. Oh, it's a damn witch, I'm call it. Are you serious? You wearing that damn ride gear type shit? I'm probably gonna get caught during this mission. I don't have any type of explosives to destroy these things, and I'm thinking I'm about to just let loose on, like, the communications equipment itself. I'm pretty sure I could find something right here, but I'm too impatient for that. And there are way too many people here.
I have no idea where I'm going. I went to the wrong building. Good work. You've completed your objective. Now get out of the hot zone. Hopefully they don't notice me. I couldn't do it the other way, but I got it somehow done. The other way would have probably gotten more points because of more tasks done. But I'll come back and do those tasks. Out of the sniper. I don't know how far out the hot zone is. I don't know where there's plane wars, and that scares me too. Out of the goddamn hot zone. Oh, you serious? I guess they extended it. I could call in a chopper, but that might take more time anyway. That's it. You've made it out of the hot zone. No sign of the enemy. Mission complete, boss. Hopefully I got a good rank. I don't know. That went a little bit better than I thought it would. I thought I was going to end up in a straight firefight. Amazing. Mission complete. That right there is why you're the best, boss. The one and only. Good shit. I did not expect to get that high of a ranking. <laughs> like, I thought I was supposed to do that a little bit more quiet, but that worked. Okay. And Baller was complaining, I think, about that mission. My friend Baller was complaining that that mission was kind of a... I think it was this one that was a little difficult. I was actually worried about not having any explosives, but it worked. The sand, if the sandstorm didn't kick in, I probably would have a pro had a problem. That's the only reason I went for it, because the sandstorm kicked in. Because I was about to start searching for grenades and stuff. Elite soldier. <laughs> Now the next mission might be a pain in my ass. If I remember correctly, I think it has something to do with tanks. I need to go back and grab that damn mammal pod too. I'll do it after I'm done these missions though. 